Hi guys, this is Samuel and we are back playing House of Iron 4 as France. We are about to be attacked by Soviet Union. Uh, let's talk about Germany though first. So, uh, someone suggested in the comments uh, to the last episode that uh, the reason uh, they are not uh, continuing this is that uh, they require, uh, they are required to have, as you can see, a 950,000 uh, 950, uh, men in the, in the field that they don't. Uh, so it seems like they uh, picked it uh, right before the da uh, day four and it ended up uh, stopping. Just a bit weird that, uh, you know, I assumed always that uh, as long as you uh, pass all the requirements to start the, the thing, it's uh, well, it, it will just continue. Since well, you cannot uh, change your focus or stop the focus once you pick it. Uh, but uh, seems like it's not the case. What that means is uh, that we will need to get positive uh, with political power and uh, justify war goal on uh, German ourselves. Uh, we should be able to do so since uh, um, us being democratic simply means that we cannot justify uh, goals against countries that uh, have not generated war tension and Germany has. So uh, well, what it boils down to is that we'll need to survive long enough to be able to do that to you know uh, achieve and the goal of this mission of this uh, playthrough. Now uh, let's take a look at uh, what Soviets have here before uh, the war starts. Seems like uh, well, at least some of our units are entrenched and it's a pretty decent entrenchment at max uh, 59 with all the bonuses that we have. So. Not too shabby, not all since we will be, we've been switching units uh, around, not all of them will be there, but uh, yeah, we are on a, in a decent spot. Uh, we are also mostly full on uh, preparation uh, bonus, which uh, gets up to 105, uh, so another good thing. The uh, thing is that uh, so the divisions are actually pretty decent. Uh, quite a lot of them have line artillery. Uh, maybe not quite a lot, but there are, there are some divisions that do have line artillery. Uh, so they are almost similar to us. The Panzer divisions are really good and we uh, have no way of uh, penetrating them, which is problematic. Uh, on top of that, uh, they really have quite a lot of them. For example, here, here in Minsk, they have 25. And I just realized that that was a shitty mm, place to assign to that northern part of our front. Let's call it the Belarus, uh, Belarusian front, because, uh, well, those are marches, even though they can be attacked from, uh, from three sides, there are still marches, so we'll do another Reorganization, I think. And we'll take. Yeah, we'll assign all of those uh, up there. And take uh, two divisions back to here. And that will, of course, reset our entrenchment, which is not ideal, but here it is. Uh, oh! And tanks. We won't be able to use those tanks there, so uh, let's put them here for the time being. I have a f feeling that we'll need them around here with the amount of... Oh, look at that. I don't pause and all that disappeared. Oh, that's weird. Alright, so they declared war on us. Uh, yes, we are accepting the call to arms. Uh, let's make sure everyone's fighting. Everyone is fighting. Mm. 
Another possible problem is that uh, Romanians will push through here uh, the superior numbers of uh, of Russians will, around, uh, will arrive from the north and push us back. And we are also, as you can see, uh, definitely losing here. No, actually those are just Polish forces, so we haven't joined the battles yet, uh, which is problematic because, uh, mm, well, uh, now we'll need to uh, uh, join in from the reserves. Let's see what uh, kind of generals they have. Ah, free. Not bad. There is an enemy air superiority, of course. Mm, I think we will try to make use of our planes after all. Uh, probably, it's probably not going to work, but... Uh, let us all try. Oh, no. Sin but since we are in a shitty, uh, we have shittest of planes, we need to actually put them into um, most central position, which is uh, the, the Vowin right here. This way they will have a chance of getting most of the coverage. Mm. Is that the bombers actually? Uh, oh, never mind. This is uh, 400 limits. Uh, now let's add a few more in Lublin. Closer mm, supports. And the tactical bombers. There we go. Uh, let's assign them all. Uh, even, the, even from there, we don't have enough co of a coverage. Oh well. Uh, close enough. Mm, what else? Uh, well, now we just uh, wait and see. You know, we we'll need to slow it down, and uh, we'll see when and uh, how we need to react. All right, so it ticked through, and uh, we are now actually fighting. So, uh, well. Seems like uh, our choice to kick out, uh, to move few divisions from uh, here wasn't exactly the best idea. Let's move them back here. Let's put there to here. Mm, now we have eight divisions here. We need to. I would say that we need to take the few of those who are not engaged uh, or not entrenched yet and actually throw them in here since uh, we are under attack by everything they had in in Minsk uh, probably even more than that here we go oh we could uh, make an attack towards here and uh, relieve those units but uh, We'll see. Let's, I'd rather uh, stay on the defensive for the time being. Hmm. What else? Uh, tanks uh, should be moving. Uh, yeah. I'll use them uh, perhaps to, to fight off some of the uh, breakthroughs. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, here we are. In a decent position uh, since most of them are attacking through the river. This is pretty even and this will be a problem. But let's check. Uh, well, even uh, with the malices uh, from uh, officers purged, they still had at 40, which is obnoxious. Uh, with our, well, they are at the same amount, really. Come on. Ooh, and to uh, the war. Now, mm, what do we have here? They are suffering from a lack of supplies, so, which is promising. Uh, we are not actively performing missions, apparently. Interesting. 
Okay, it seems like the front is more or less holding on uh, all counts. Uh, Romanians have made a beach at here, and uh, honestly, if uh, I uh, I assumed that uh, Soviets will move uh, once uh, they end up at war with uh, uh, Romanians, that they would uh, move uh, a sizable amount of their forces from. Uh, uh, Polish front down south, but that seems to not be the case. So perhaps there is a chance for a few encirclements here and there. Uh, maybe push towards Kiev and uh, attempt to encircle here, but uh, the problem is that we have uh, six Panzer divisions, so it's like uh, trying to um, Kill an elephant by swinging a mice or something. Mm. And this is like a few divisions. Uh, but it seems like this one is more or less holding for a time being, so uh, let's do just that. Let's uh, deploy those tanks. Um, maybe here. Maybe uh, do a breakthrough here and. Swing around down south and try to capture parts of Ukraine. But ah, the problem, of course, is that we will uh, well, give up our um, defensive positions and uh, we will enlarge on the front line, and we simply cannot afford that unless uh, our Allied units decide to stop launching at the German border. Which seems unlikely. I'd actually prefer for the from them to just declare one on us already, so we can uh, just wipe them out and uh, relieve all those units. Because of, just look at that, oh, so many units. Yeah, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I will want to swing down south, or uh, perhaps and circle and destroy this small part. That that seems feasible. Uh, either way, uh, I will put my Tanks here. What was it? Alt. Yes, it was an alt. Yeah, something like that. And they should start rolling there in a sec, right? Here you go. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's speed it to two and just watch for the red signs. And Mongolia joined. So this will just stay there. Yep. It's, it seems like a poor design, really, because I can imagine you can uh, somehow block yourself by starting one of those uh, things and then either losing your manpower or, I don't know, well, most losing the manpower in a field somehow and then you are stuck and perhaps you are even it's even draining your political power up to the all right uh, well that's going better than I expected really I mean our units are few and not very good in terms of what they have but uh, all that bonuses between uh, entrenchment and uh, planning bonus are actually pretty damn substantial. They add up. Well, it, we could have uh, we've seen that uh, in the war versus uh, versus Germans, um, but it won't last forever. And then again, I assume that uh, the supply for the armies won't last forever either. So if uh, uh, we might as well grind them down on this. Uh, 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 yeah, like in my uh, tests, I actually never reached the point where I was able to first finish the the axis and uh, then be prepared for for the war with the Soviets. And what that meant that by the time I was able to to, to throw my troops at them, at them they were like knee deep in Romania. Uh, 
like strong Corso and stuff, so so uh, it, it was very difficult to mount up a, a defense, and uh, also uh, that usually meant that my allied forces have been decimated by uh, by then uh, due to being outnumbered. But this uh, this isn't looking so bad, so uh, we'll wait for our tanks to get their shit together, and we'll do some mischief here. Oh, we'll try. For example, those 11 divisions look pretty damn tasty. I'm not sure about those here, but... Alright, uh, it's November the 4th. That means we will uh, just stockpile 5 points and wait till November the 19th and and uh, then we'll be able to do defensive stratagems, follow up uh, with army reform, and then we uh, will stop using uh, the focus uh, for a while till we get back to into the positive political power. This is actually pretty obnoxious we aren't <laughs> plus uh, 07 when we aren't using a focus. <laughs> is it oh so another thing it's uh, apparently that do, uh, doesn't stockpile the, the points when we don't have them. Ah, so well I kinda wish they well since we are doing so well I kinda wish they would keep attacking and Dying. Let's uh, check how they lost hundred thousand. Nothing really, but we lost some, well, nothing really. So, yeah. Okay. Not as scary as uh, one may think. Well, now with the new patch, I guess uh, it would be much more difficult to 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 win against well either of them with uh, with the sliders on, but. It's probably more than I can chew, uh, if I'm to be honest. Now, uh, we have the planning bonus, let's... Hmm, not sure if we can... We could uh, punch through here. So maybe let's limit ourselves to this. But I don't want to, to, to attack this one. Uh, well, let's move... Uh, the motorized here as a follow-up. Uh, all I want for now is to try to make this small encirclement and see how that goes. It shouldn't be too dangerous uh, for our units. Famous last words, but yeah, I think it's something we can possibly aff afford. Now, uh, of course. Ah, oh, right, we are losing the air war. Uh, well, it's, I guess there are some allied uh, troops there, and we are, of course, will be fighting in enemy uh, superiority over here, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, it's actually... No one I think about it, that's actually pretty dangerous to, to throw our tanks in there, but, well, we'll try anyway. Plan is... Like this, basically, just uh, three provinces deep. And, uh, well, China got annexed. Hmm, so I wonder if they will just keep this as Japan. They usually uh, reorg uh, create the uh, reorganized, uh, what's the face? Uh, reorganized nationalized China. Hmm. All right. Uh, basically, our goal is, for the time being, to well survive till we can get more manpower, and uh, hmm. or maybe we should swing south. We have quite a lot of troops here, and they suddenly thrown a lot. If we would, could uh, get our units uh, behind this river and uh, make an encirclement out of this whole thing, 
It wouldn't be a bad idea either. Well, both of them are probably pretty bad, but uh, okay, we'll follow. Uh, continue here. I mean, it's it's very difficult to 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 attack without air superiority, basically, because you are uh, not only your defense is cut in half, but uh, what's uh, more important, your uh, speed is cut in half, and well. Speed is life for for tanks. For example, here we are probably advancing like yeah, one kph due to air superiority, well, river and a shitty infrastructure. Mm. Yeah, let's. I will try to, to do this one first, and then we'll see. And then we have a war in a uh, well, war battle here, and just some subs. Uh, Red Navy is uh, is just terrible. It's definitely not not much for our. It's not so powerful one. So nothing to to worry there. Hmm. Well, we actually have enough infrastructure here, or I mean supplies. Uh, where are those uh, motorized? All right, then you guys need to redeploy. This is this is a go. Uh, most of them will manage to escape, but let's actually attack. Uh, to at least pin them down. I really have a shitload of units here now when I think about it. Well, that's not going to work, but yeah. I think we can, well, use up some of our units. There's like a, quite a lot of healthy divisions there. Uh, I would rather have our Romanian friends uh, Pick up the pace. Mm, ah, well, they're, they're moving. Uh, and we are not being attacked here yet, so this seems fairly safe, maybe. Apparently we are in multiple combats, but I don't see the second one. Uh, I don't think we are attacking, so... Hmm. Okay, how many divisions are there? Okay, that's a lot of fucking divisions. But how about... Oh, so that was... Uh, yeah, let's see how many divisions are here. That would be maybe a better play. Okay, so that seems like a lot of divisions. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, that should be easy enough, but... Uh, beyond that... Uh, Yeah, we'll need to cancel that and throw more units into this. Uh, probably take half and do that, and we'll focus on that. Uh, yeah, we'll cancel this. Go here. Cancel this and go here. There we go. Mm, that may work. Uh, yeah, they're in a pretty shitty state now, actually. Uh, let's throw one of those there, and we'll actually make a spawning attack in here. Or probably, no, we won't. Uh, we'll make a spawning attack here. Uh, okay, we, I'm not sure about that, but... Uh, uh, I think they are most likely to escape into the provinces that are not attacked. So that seems like a uh, well, almost a reasonable assumption. So perhaps, uh, well, we'll throw this one here on a spawning attack, and perhaps they will keep. Well, they are escaping here, but perhaps they will keep doing that. So 
that would be uh, immensely helpful. And they managed to win that, so we'll throw them there. Yeah, so this answer command seems to be working. Uh, and we are not, yeah, th this is of course as flimsy as fuck, and, but, well, even if they punch through, he through here, uh, unless those Romanians, well, if those Romanians advance, we are, we are safe. Uh, yeah, but what we need is to, 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 to crush this as fast as possible. Okay, now they are escaping the other direction. Damn it. Uh, well, we'll cut. We'll catch some. How long till you guys get here? Uh, almost. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Well, could have been better, but... Uh. Alright. Uh, you guys will go here. Very good. Mm -hmm. and now we are probably in a position to, to strike south, uh, but... Okay, let's take a look at our air force. Alright, so I think it's... Maybe okay. Let's see. Mm, our fighters lost. Enemy fighters lost. Uh, yeah, we are getting our asses handed to us. Let's cancel it. All right. Um. And the other small encirclements we can pull off. Uh, you guys can smash this. Uh, that should be uh, easy enough. Uh, oh. Let's support this. Wish I knew how many divisions they have there. It's, it's always a nice thing to have. In that day, we should be able to start with our defensive stratagems. And yeah, I think we will. Uh, here we go. All right, so our tanks did their job. Uh, let's. Uh, hmm. Ah, now, I, where do you want to attack? So, uh, this seems pretty flimsy. So we can just strike and try to rush to here. So that. That's probably the, the best way to go about it, so uh, we will uh, shorten our front. Well, basically to here. Uh, yeah. Can we attack from here to there? We cannot. Uh, that also means those units are uh, to join that. All, of, all five divisions. Okay, we messed this one up. Uh, damn it. Uh, where are my tanks? <laughs> Here we go. Damn it. Alright. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I want bigger arrow. I want to use it, but you know, uh, planning bonus and such. Uh, all right, uh, the rest of you can be on the defensive for the time being. In those positions or support those attack there, attacks there, all very well. All right, where are my tanks? Oh, there you are. Okay, so we have 11 divisions that from half of them here to clean this one up. And then we will finish this off. And we will have a new line here to, 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 to defend or attack. Maybe. Uh, I'm good. And north seems 
All right. Uh, perhaps we should actually. Uh, you know what? We will. Um, we will attack. Uh, we will attack carefully, but we will indeed attack. Yeah, just to keep them busy. Uh, well, we seems to be in a decent position there, and perhaps that will keep them of balance. And to, well, let's see if we will be losing uh, too many soldiers. I will stop, but uh, I think they are not so hot on equipment as you can see. Uh, some of those divisions are uh, having trouble reinforcing, uh, getting full strength, so keeping up uh, the pace while we are destroying divisions, which actually helps uh, helps them in a way. Uh, well, it's, this is, should be a good idea. Except here, where uh, it isn't a good idea. Uh, uh, right, so you... Of course we don't want to attack into those bloody marches. Well, apparently this one is doing just fine for some reason. Oh. Wow. Alright, well, well let's, let's, let's do that and you don't. Uh, yeah, just finish with that and, well, just focus on attacking up north. Now, well, at the same time, we will use our tanks to uh, rush down there. This is our goal. We'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, we definitely need uh, our uh, infantry divisions. I should have moved them. Uh, what I want is, is to, to, to keep uh, them busy in those three provinces if possible. Uh, so let's send six there and another three to attack here. Uh, well, apparently uh, Polish divisions are moving out of there, so let's leave those there. Uh, we are probably suffering from lack of, uh, yeah, we are suffering attrition, but uh, I'd say that we are good on the uh, on the equipment. Uh, so yeah, let's so let's keep at it. Do we have any better information on how many divisions they have? Well, they have at least around two hundred and probably over three hundred. So even well, we actually got quite a quite a few here. Probably around forty divisions. Not, not bad for a start, and that was actually pretty damn easy. It was less uh, about if we can punch through them, or more about how many will we catch. Uh, Alright, that, that being said... Uh, uh, all those uh, motorized divisions now need to, to get here and get here fast, because they will be uh, our exploitation units. Uh, and you guys uh, are coming, yes you are. It will take you a while, but... We have like an uh, absurd amount of uh, units here, which makes us pretty damn safe, especially since apparently this part of the front is uh, is doing well, despite the fact that we are. All right, we are we are taking the mud, or are we are in the mud? Ah, oh, we are in the mud. Hmm. Uh, that could have been better. But all right, let's. Uh, I think that they will uh, still get the shorter stick in all the, all that affair. And if that's the case, if, or if I'm uh, bleeding my own army dry, uh, just keep in mind that uh, attrition is limited to equipment. Uh, your manpower isn't affected by attrition, so not, uh, I'm not mad. I'm not uh, losing 70. So let's, uh, before we continue, let's compare the notes. Uh, yeah, so we are, as a, as a whole, dealing uh, around 10 times more damage than they do. And we are, are yet to count those divisions that are here. So I'd say that we are definitely more powerful in the field than 
and then the Soviets. Great stuff. Thanks for watching guys and well, have a nice day and see you next time.